Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday Pilates Day. I hope you're ready with your mats and comfortable exercise clothes. It's a chilly day, but we're going to get nice and warm with our activations. So let's get straight into it. Let's start in a lunge position. Okay, we're going to start with our left leg in front of us. And we're slowly just going to rock those hips. So tucking in that pubic bone, we're going to rock our knee forward, our hips forward into that front knee and slowly back. And we're going to do four of these, just getting that mobility and that warmth. Making sure that you're tucking in that pubic bone, allowing a stretch down the front of that right leg. And last one, we're going to stay there, placing both hands and next to our feet, we're slowly going to inhale and on the exhale, open chest towards the ceiling. Right hand towards the ceiling and inhale down and exhale up and inhale down. We're going to do two more of these. While we're doing this, we're pushing the groin into the ground. And last one, allowing a deep stretch into that side of the body and going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly placing our left hand on the other side of our foot and just leaning back. And from here we're going to do four of these. And one. You're leaning backwards and forwards, allowing a stretch into the hamstring and glutes. And last one. And four, we're going to lift back up and we're slowly just going to turn to face the other way. We're going to do the exact same routine that we've just done, just facing the other direction. So four, flexor hip rocks, hip flexor rocks, just leaning forward and coming back. Let's do two more. And last one. From here, placing both hands on the sides of, it, of the right foot and the inside and slowly deep breath in and exhale out, allowing a stretch into the side of the back, inhale down, pushing that groin into the ground while we're working and slowly down and two more. And last one, we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. From here, placing both hands on the floor, but your right hand on the outside of your right foot. And we're slowly going to straighten that front knee forward and back, rocking. Let's do four more. That's one. And two. And three and four. And from here, I'm going to lift up, activating the core, lengthening through the spine. We're going to place our hands on our hips and slowly lift that back knee to hop off the ground just for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. We're going to do two more sets of five seconds and hovering up, core tight. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. And last one, hovering up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Slowly turning over to face the other way. We're going to do three sets of five facing this way and really hovering that back knee off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. And lifting up and five, four, three, two, one, and down. And last one, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Placing that left leg under you, you're going to place hands on the floor in an all fours position. We're slowly going to straighten both legs to lift our hips up towards the ceiling. Digging our heels into the ground. We're going to allow a stretch down the hamstring and calf and we're going to inhale and exhale.
exhale and inhale. Now what I want you to do is rotate that pelvis, that tailbone, up towards the ceiling. So you're going to rotate them up and as you're doing that you're pushing the back part of your knees towards the wall behind you. You're going to rotate that pelvis and hold. Pushing those heels into the ground and five, four, three, two, bending that right knee, allowing a deeper stretch in that left knee and extending that right, bending that left. We're going to walk out our calves for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly leaning a little bit more back, allowing our hands to go a little bit in front of our shoulders and just pushing the shoulders down towards the ground. And let's do three more. One and two, slow and controlled. And three, from here, we're going to bend those knees and then back into rest position to hold for a few seconds. We're going to lift back up into that position. So just prepare back into all fours, lifting our glutes towards the ceiling. We're going to keep our left foot on the ground. We're going to extend our right leg as far as we can and we're going to knee tuck it towards our opposite elbow. And we're going to do five of those. That's one and two and three. Keeping those toes, toes pointed. Four and five. And slowly dropping right leg down, extending and lifting left leg. And inhale, exhale, knee tuck. One. And two, and three, and four, and five. Lowering that foot back down, bending those knees, and leaning back into rest position. We're going to inhale and exhale, pushing the shoulders into the ground, just relaxing. Slowly going to lean back onto that all fours position. And we're going to lift right hand and left arm up into a superman hold for 10. And core tight. In this position, I want you to make sure that your hips are aligned. And three, two, one. Still making sure that you're sucking that belly towards your spine. And you are stabilizing balance with that pelvis and core. Let's go for another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And dropping down and leaning back into rest position for five, four, three, two, one. Lifting back onto all fours. You're going to. Keeping your foot on the floor, just straightening your right foot and then your left foot. We're going to hover and hold in an extended front support plank position for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg down, left leg down, lifting into that superman hold position. Core tight, neck in neutral and holding for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, and other arm and leg, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, back into rest position, last little front support plank, and lifting back up. Extending those legs, keeping those feet on the floor and holding. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee in, left knee in, and reaching back. And inhale, and exhale, and slowly back 
onto that all fours. We are going to extend back into that front support position. Now what we're going to do is inhale, tap that knee in and extend. Right knee, now lift. Knee tuck and extend. That's three and four. We're doing eight and five and six and seven and eight and hold four five four three two one right knee in left knee in we're going to stay in this all fours position keeping tight we're just going to do a few pelvic rotations pelvic tucks so inhale on the exhale we're rolling and drawing that pelvis in and move back to neutral then we're extending our chest to look in front of us back to neutral rotating that pelvis back to neutral and extending back to neutral and rolling and one more extend that chest and back to neutral and roll that pelvis and leaning back into that first position. From here we're going to turn over onto our backs. Hope you're all managing. Lying down on your back. We're going to start with our arms in the T position. We're going to extend our legs onto the floor. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, we're slowly going to lift right leg towards the ceiling. And while we're lifting right leg, we're going to meet it with our left hand and inhale down, you're controlling this movement. And exhale up and reach opposite foot to opposite hand and up and slowly down we're going to do two more on each hand and leg and that's one reaching allowing and hamstring stretch in the back of your knee but still maintaining a good activation and control while going down and extend and reach and extend and reach from here you're slowly going to bring your legs up into tabletop position then we're going to extend our legs up towards the ceiling you can see 90 degrees my hip you're going to place both hands on the back of your right knee and you're going to lift heavily and shoulders off the ground and you're just going to draw your right knee towards your chest while the left leg drops towards the floor and then you're going to rotate and draw two pulses and rotate and draw those knees towards the chest two pulses and one two and one two and one two and one on each leg and slowly bringing those legs back to tabletop position, rolling back down and holding in that tabletop position, drawing your ribs towards your spine, lengthening and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep breathing, getting a deep activation into that core. And keep breathing. From here, we're going to do single leg toe taps. And inhale, exhale, toe tap. One, inhale, and two, core tap. And three, four. Slow and controlled, we're going to do ten. And eight nine and ten and dropping arms into a two position rolling that 90 degree those 90 degree knees to the floor 
long stretch into the side of the body, looking into the opposite direction. Going to inhale and on the exhale, slowly rolling over towards the other side. Leaning those legs to the floor, looking in the opposite direction and holding. We're slowly going to roll back over to center, placing both hands on our knees. We're going to slowly roll head, neck and chest off the ground towards our ankles. So hands on knees and rolling to ankles using a core. That's one and two. We're doing six of these and three and four. Five and six. Slowly rolling hands down towards your side. Right leg down, left leg down. We're going to prepare for a pelvic curl into a reverse bridge. We're going to inhale and slowly rolling that pelvis using a core to tuck that pubic bone towards your chin. Then slowly rolling those hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing those glutes, digging those heels into the ground. We're going to hold, inhale and exhale, slowly rolling back down. And at the bottom, we're going to inhale and exhale up. We're going to do two more of these. And inhale and exhale down. Inhale and exhale up. While we're in the air, we're going to stay there. Keep holding, squeezing those glutes, digging those heels into the ground. We're going to hold. Inhale, making sure those knees aren't pulling in. And for another five, four, three, two, lifting right leg into tabletop position and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, dropping right leg down, lifting left leg into tabletop position and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, dropping that left leg, lifting those hips to slowly roll back down. We're going to lift our legs back into tabletop position one at a time. From here, placing both hands. On your right knee, you're going to ex lift your head, neck and chest off the ground and extend right left leg while hands are on your right knee and inhale, rotate, exhale, rotate, inhale, rotate, keeping those toes aligned and pointing and keep going. Head, neck and chest off the ground but you're not straining. And you're just alternating, placing your hands on each knee while the other leg extends and straightens. Let's do four more. That's one. Hold tight. And two. Three. And four. Placing those legs back into tabletop position, rolling yourself down towards the floor. Head comes to the other floor, arms in a T position. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, you're going to slowly allow the knees to fall towards the right and inhale back to center. You're using your core to control the movement of your pelvis as your knees are falling. Core back to center and over towards the right. Core activated. Don't allow the pelvis to fall too much. Center. And two more times on each side. That's one. Core tight. And to the left. Back to center. And right. Back to center. And left. Back to center. Right leg down. Left leg down. Arms on your sides. 
Inhale on the exhale, rolling that pelvis up towards the ceiling to lift the tips of the floor. Sucking in that pelvic floor, squeezing tight. We're going to slowly extend our right leg up towards the ceiling and we are slowly going to point towards the ceiling and lower that leg down towards the ground and as we're lifting we're pointing our toes towards our nose that's one we're just going to do five of these that's two three four and five lifting that leg back up align with the other knee and holding for eight seven six five four three two one dropping that right leg down to lift that left leg up towards the ceiling and doing the same sequence toes pointing and dropping that leg towards the floor then pointing towards the nose as we lift it and that's one core tight making sure that those hips aren't dropping two and three core tight controlling that pelvis four and five and aligning those knees to hold for eight seven six five four three two one dropping that leg down to the floor lifting those hips to slowly roll back down we're going to lift our legs back up into tabletop position remember to activate we're slowly going to lift head neck and chest off the ground placing both hands on your knees we're going to inhale and on the exhale extend arms over head and circle them back to the knees that's one we're doing five of these and two and exhale around inhale and last one and slowly rolling back down, keeping your legs in tabletop position, extending arms overhead. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, extending arms to ceiling, then lifting head, neck, and chest off the ground, bringing them towards the ground, and inhale back down. Core tight, spine and jitra, and back, and inhale back down. We're going to do five of these two. That's two, extend up, three, and four, and the last one, and five, and we're just going to hold here to pulsate towards the ground, and one, two, three, keep breathing, four, five, Six, we're going to ten, seven, eight, nine, and slowly rolling back down. Arms in a T position, legs on the floor, ankles and knees together, and we're just going to rock from side to side. We've got two more exercises on our backs, then we're going to turn over onto our sides. Hope you're feeling good and activated and a little bit warmer than you were this morning. I definitely woke up, woke up feeling quite chilly this morning. We're going to go bring our legs back to center, arms on our sides, lifting back up into that tabletop position. We're slowly going to roll head, neck and chest off the ground, hands on our knees. Now what we're going to do is circle our arms around but while we're circling, we're extending our knees and back. We're just going to do five of these. That's two. And three. And four. And five. And back to tabletop. Rolling back down, bringing hands overhead. We're going to inhale. On the exhale, lifting head, neck and chest up towards the ceiling. And then bringing hands down towards our sides, extending those knees. And we're just going to pulsate into the ground for eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Bending those knees back into tabletop, leading your hands back and head, neck and chest back to the floor, arms in a T position now, and slowly rolling your legs from side to side, allowing a stretch in that side of your body and slowly leaning over towards the other side. We're going to do one more on each side before we progress to our glutes. Allowing that stretch that your body before. All done. The last one towards the left hand side. Then we're going to turn over onto our right hand side. So everyone on your right hand side, we are slowly going to bend and place our right hand to support our head and our elbows comfortably under our shoulder and our other leg is comfortably under our hips. From here, we are slowly going to extend and lift that upper leg towards the ceiling and you are going to slowly point your toes towards your nose when you're kicking forward and then when you're kicking back you're leaning and pointing that toe towards the wall behind you if you need to you can just place a little bit of support here and from here we are going to inhale point forward kick kick and exhale kick kick and inhale forward kick kick and exhale kick kick and inhale kick kick and exhale kick kick let's do two more one what we're looking at here is making sure that pelvis is stabilized when doing the work and from here extending that leg and holding for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one, dropping that leg down and resting for five, four, three, two, one. You can place your arm now onto the floor to increase that support if you haven't already. Extending that leg, lifting those knees, that knee towards the ceiling, making sure that other knee is in line with the hip. And we're going to bend and extend that leg and one, and two, and three. We're just doing eight with an eight second hold. Four and five making sure you're not slumping into your shoulder six and seven and extend and hold for eight seven six five four three two one bending down and resting for five four three two one last one we're going to extend that leg and we're going to do a knee tuck back into extension. We're just doing eight with an eight second hold. That's two, core tight. And three, and four, and five. Three more, and six, and seven, and eight, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. We're slowly going to turn over onto that other side. Hope you guys are all feeling okay. Feeling nice and activated with a little bit of a heart rate up. I must be honest, my heart rate is quite elevated. We're slowly going to place our left hand to support our head, shoulders, knees and hips all aligned. Placing our other hand on our hips, on that glute, just to make sure you're activating. But if you're feeling confident, you can place the other hand behind your head like so. I'm gonna keep mine there just to make sure I'm activating. Lifting that knee towards the ceiling. We're going to point toes to nose to kick two pulses forward, then pointing toes towards the wall behind you to kick two pulses back. Making sure when you're kicking, that that pelvis is stabilized. Okay, you might have a tendency to want to hyper flex or hyper, I mean hyper extend. Try not to stabilize and hold and kick, 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 
kick and let's do two more one and two and lift and hold for eight seven six five four three two one bending and lowering and resting for five four three two one you can place your arm on the floor now if you haven't already yet and we're going to lift that leg up towards the ceiling pointing that toe and we are going to bend and extend that leg and one and two and three and four and five core tight six with an eight second hold and hold for eight seven six five four three two one bending and lowering resting four five four three two one we're going to lift back up we're going to bend that knee towards the chest and extend back eight with an eight second hold and two and three and four and five don't slump into that shoulder six and seven and eight and extend and hold for eight seven six five four three two one bending down and slowly turning over onto your tummies okay this is a new exercise so listen to my cues we're going to place elbows comfortably under our shoulders wrist in line with shoulders and just looking forward from here we're going to bend our legs pointing toes towards the ceiling from here we're going to kick kick right foot while left foot extends and then we're going to rotate kick 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 and inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale keep going we're going to do 10 more two three four five six core tight seven eight nine from here we're going to 10 extend our legs extend arms placing nose on the floor neck in a comfortable position we're going to lift both legs off the ground and both arms and we're going to hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and slowly lowering back down keeping that neck in neutral we're going to interlace our hands behind our back and from here we're going to inhale and on the exhale we're going to extend our arms lifting head neck and chest off the ground extending legs off the ground too and inhale and rotate head to look to the other direction bending our elbows to starting point inhale exhale extend and rotate that head and extend and rotate so this one you're giving a stretch in your chest while giving an activation into your back of your legs and extend and rotate and last one extend and rotate okay we're going to go back into that first exercise that we did Placing elbows under shoulders, drawing our shoulders down our backs, bending those knees, kicking right leg forward bar, left leg extend and kick, kick and kick, kick and kick, 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 kick. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and last one from here. Straightening those legs, straightening those arms, neck in neutral, lifting 
arms, head, neck and chest and legs off the ground and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slowly lowering down, lifting back into all fours position and then into that rest position. We're going to push those shoulders into the ground and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. And we're slowly going to lift back into all fours. We're going to take our right leg and tuck it in under your hands and chest. And you're just going to lean into that glute if you can. And we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly bringing that leg back to a fourth position, tucking in that left leg, leaning into that glute, kneeling down and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, lean back into the all fours position, tucking your toes in under your feet. You're going to extend your glutes towards the ceiling, rotating the pelvis up towards the ceiling, and we're going to hold for eight, pushing those knees into your back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, bending right knee, digging heel into ground. Five, four. Three, two, one, bending that other leg and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly bending both legs back into all fours. We're going to go back into that rest position, stretching those arms, pushing those shoulders into the ground, and we're going to hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. I took it a little bit more easy, doing a lot more slow, controlled movements. I hope you enjoyed it.